YouTube, what's poppin', y'all? It's your boy, D-Hyde. Just wanna welcome you guys back to the channel. Now, I am running around today taking care of some shit like I always do, but really quick, I just wanted to tell you guys too, man, um, uh, congratulations for those of you that, that, that won the, the beer bomb and the oil. Please leave me some feedback, man. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave me a private message. You guys can hit me up on Instagram. Um, whatever, or any of my old videos or recent videos, um, just leave me a message and let me know what you guys thought about about the beer bomb and the oil. Now, I did send out, I did ship out a couple of bombs just by itself. I had two extras left over, so I was able to do that. But um, sometime in the future, man, I really want to like maybe start up a little website or or figure out a way to um, get some of these bombs and oils to some of you guys once I get the. Uh, once I get the, the okay stamp from um, some of my bearded brothers out there and um, their thoughts on it and how they feel about it and if it's even worth for me to make more and and uh, try to like distribute it and sell it and, and try to get it out there to the rest of you guys, man. So um, I'm looking forward to that, to hear what you guys have to say about the about the beer bomb and oil. Um, as you guys know, I've been I've been in the kitchen, man, like a mad scientist trying to trying to come up with the right blend of beeswax, shea butter and, and the, the right oils and stuff like that. So. I've been really working on it, really, really and truly. Now, uh, another thing that I want to talk about real quick with you guys is that, listen, I know, and I'm speaking for myself, I'm not speaking for nobody else on YouTube, man, for myself personally. Um, when it comes to these products and, you know, me testing them out, I'm giving you guys my honest opinion on them, you know? I know that a lot of you, a lot of you fellas, you know, you guys watch other videos and stuff like that. And you guys, you go go out there and you guys purchase st stuff based on our opinion. Now, some of you guys have may have like bad results on some of the stuff that we're using, and then other guys may have really good results, you know. And uh, the worst case scenario, man, your beard is not your beard can always reset itself. That's one thing that I've learned. Your beard will always reset itself. You know, maybe you use a product and it kind of like you know tightened up your beard and, and uh, had it feeling kind of dry. Um, you know, after time, after a couple days or after a rinse or maybe like a vinegar rinse or um, wash and shampoo or whatever the case is, you know, you can just you can just bring your beard back to how, how it was before, you know. And it could be sometimes that you try a product and you had something else in your beard and you add something new to it. It's just going to give you it's going to throw your beard out of whack. And recently I did I did experience that a little bit. You know, like I told you guys recently, I went down to Walmart. And I was looking in there for conditioners and all kind of stuff because I do kind of. They have, they have so much stuff on the market, I, I did want to test it out a little bit, you know what I mean? Like test out the market when it comes to the conditioners and shampoos. Now I know they have your typical um, beard shampoo, your, your typical um, beard um, conditioner, stuff that you can use as formulated for the beard. But I was just curious because, you know, using like, um, using the Hawaiian Silky and uh, Wave Nuvo and like different hair type products on my beard. And um, I also use like Pantene, Pantene shampoo condition. You guys know that already, but you know, just just the the amount of stuff that they had out that they had like um, uh, uh, tea tree oil, they have uh, argan oil shampoo, they have um, all type of stuff out there. So my ass went out and I picked up some coconut um, protein egg white, uh, coconut milk and oil mixed into it, and some other stuff. I'm like, wow, you know, this shit looks like it's gonna be bomb for my beard so I rubbed it in and um, I think it said it had no sulfate too or something like that I rubbed it in initially it felt good but once I got out the shower it just felt like my beard like kind of shriveled up man and just kind of you know kind of got real tight and it didn't really drop down the way it, it normally does and I was like wow I thought that my beard would actually feel a little better by using you know something that that's actually has better ingredients in it it just depends on you know the product and what's in it and, and how your beard reacts to it you know um, some people may not get really good results just using beard oils and bombs you know maybe like I said in my other videos maybe using some type of hair product or Hawaiian Silky or whatever the case is it, it may really really give your beard the softness and the look that you're looking for you know recently what I have been doing is I kind of Still be using the Cremo Beard Bomb and the Cremo um, Beard and Scruff Cream. Now, the Cremo Beard and Scruff Cream, I don't use it all the time. Like, I only use it on occasions to where, you know, when the beard is feeling really, really thick up under here. I put a little bit on, and then, um, you know, I clear everything out, and then I'll slap on my bomb. But uh, what I have been doing recently 
is uh, using the cream of beard and scruff cream every now and then. Whenever, like I said, I'm, I'm in that, I, I get that feeling. And then what I'll do is I'll use my own bomb on top of that. And uh, it's been working out. It's really, really, really been working out for me, man. So I'm gonna see how long um, I can go with, uh, with with that whole process. And then also using my oils as my as my nightly or every other night routine, man. Um, it's just been working out. It's really, really, and truly has been working out. Now I am searching for you know other shampoos and conditioners, man, because I like my beard wash that I have now. It's cool, but. I feel like I can find something better out there when it comes to a beard wash. And then um, when it comes to uh, a beard conditioner, I'm pretty sure that there's other stuff, like I said, that, that I can find, man. So I'm still searching for some type of a, a decent beard wash and a decent um, a decent beard conditioner. Now, when it comes to the Infusium, the, the, someone asked me, he was like, yo, D, you never did a you know an update on the Infusium. Now, the Infusium was something that I used in the early stages of growing my beard. That's because I just had it at the house. Actually, wifey had it at the house. I read the back of it. It said that it will help with flyaway hair, helps moisturize your hair, helps soften your, your hair. So I was like, shit, I might as well use it on the beard. I used it for a while, and then, you know, as the beard kept growing, it just, uh, I was more interested in seeing what was going on in the bearded community as far as using oils and bombs and, and different stuff like that. So it was something that worked out pretty well in the beginning stages. But, um, you know, if you have something similar like that at home or you want to go with like Hawaiian Suki, like I said before, or some other type of um, product, because the, the Infusium actually is um, a top of the hair product, you know. Um, you can definitely go with, with uh, you know, something else. But the, like I said, the infusion was cool uh, for the moment. I used it. I th thought I would test it. And I gave you guys my um, my experience and my response, you know, with using the infusion. I don't use it anymore. Um, like I said, you know, I've been using other type of stuff. And I have a whole shitload of stuff that I've been using. And um, like like I said, man, I'm just using my balm and um, the Cremo, Beard and Scuff Cream along with my oils. And then seeing what, what type of results I get with, with using that stuff for right now. And then also searching for the shampoo and conditioner, man. So um, that's where I'm at right now with the with the products and stuff like that. But um, I was really interested too, man, in trying some of that, that Mr. Mr., man. That Mr. Mr., I think it is, uh, with uh, Be The Beard, man. I was in one of his, his, uh, his live streams the other day. And, um, you know, he was talking about how he had like... I think it's mostly made out of the water and some other stuff on here. You just spray it on your beard. Whenever you um, your beard starts to feel like it's drying up and it's losing the moisture, you know you can do a quick little spray with that. Do a little clear out and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty interesting, man. Um, I definitely need to get my hands on some of that, Mister Mister, and see what my man B with the beard is talking about. You know our beard connoisseur, man. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now, man. I just thought I'd drop this little video for you guys. And let you guys know where I'm at with some of these products and some stuff that's going on. All right, but congratulations again to those fellas that uh, that won the beer bomb and the oil. Um, like I said, please leave me some comments, some feedback on uh, what you guys thought about it. This is your boy D Hyde. You guys have a great, great, great day, man. And um, you guys be safe. And I'll catch you guys next time. All right, peace out.